of uh, learning about control systems engineering and this is just a series of lecture from a course material which will be covering close to 50 lectures and the full course will be available for subscription on my website the link will be given in the description and the website is still not ready but if you still want to take the course you can give me a email or drop me an email requesting on my business email ID given on the channels page so for that time being also if you like this uh, like my work uh, since I am doing this for almost free and just still in the process of generating revenue and it could be some useful for the time I am putting if you could like to become a patreon and could help support me in generating or support me through patreon through this channel uh, if you like this work of course if you don't like there's no need uh, to go to patreon and anyway nobody will do go unless uh, they are really have a lot of money or even little bit money but interested but anyway that are long stories but it's still just to highlight and you'll get uh, the description on uh, the patreon link in my description uh, but uh, the things which I am going to show in this video is how to draw a block diagram of a closed loop system. So this is a modeling of control system using block diagram or block diagram representation. So the block diagram of a closed loop control system. So before going into I would like to say about two important components of any block diagram. One is a transfer function which I explained in the previous lecture. So there will be input to any transfer function and there will be output. So both these will be considered as signals when you are drawing it in the form of. So the model will anyway work if you are converting uh, having a speed control system any control system these will be electrical signals can be imagined in the form of electrical signals which can be varied or measured at the input and the output and this is the summing point here so the use of uh, the summing point here is that it is can be used to add or subtract for two or more signals so the next video is I will take a closed loop control system so if I am taking this is my input signal which I am going to give by BS and this is my plus or minus and this is what is my RS if I'm seeing is my feedback signal and whichever is going out let us say that this is KS signal and this is being fed to a transfer function here which I am denoting by GS and whatever is coming out here if suppose this is CS signal and if I am feeding it back as it is without any amplification or modification then it can be directly shown by a line and this is my closed loop system and if I am having a same system here in which I am modifying the feedback signal so this is my feedback signal as it is if I'm modifying it using some kind of a gain or some kind of a logic whichever will be correct according to the mathematical model which I'm employing or my system model so this is my GS here and this is my CS here So this is my HS here and
if I am seeing that this is my RS and this is my CS and this is my feedback signal here so now this is a very clear and here there is a feedback is happening through a gain so and there there is no gain here it is as it is so now we will have to write the transfer function for this whole system it can be written as uh, CS upon BS that is my output upon input is equal to or CS upon BS is equal to GS into HS for this system so that's how you can write the transfer function in a very simple terms if you want to add on that same thing I'll just erase this or just keeping it as it is so if I say that my for this case but I'm considering for this case when I'm taking CS is what is my output signal so if I'm saying that this is my first step here so this is my output CS is equal to whatever is my GS into whatever is my KS so this is my first equation which I can get here and this is my second equation is computing whatever is my KS so KS is equal to BS that is my input and this is my output so this is my input uh, minus whatever is my feedback signal so that is my case and my RS whichever I'm getting here as feedback signal is HS into whatever is my output which is HS into CS and finally if I take this as my third equation and if I move it come substitute the value of GS KS here then what I will get here is my fourth equation so CS equal to GS into BS minus RS and this is equal to this when you solve it or substitute the value of RS which is equal to HS into CS and finally you can simplify it into this form this is my final transfer function or final solution of the output upon the input which is called as my transfer function of the whole circuit so this is how you can draw represent a closed loop control system by using a block diagram and the sixth equation whatever it states here this is what is my transfer function for this whole circuit